Hello, I'm Vadini Ariam. In this presentation, I'm going to talk about internet marketing strategies. Internet marketing. In this day and age, internet marketing has overtaken everything else. Everybody wants to use the internet to buy the products, to sell the products, to sell services, and they browse the internet for everything else all the time. So internet is, is in big demand. So if you want to set up a website and sell your products, you have to do, you have to go into internet marketing. And first and foremost, you have to start producing the, uh, develop the product. You have to search for a product and before you even start producing, you have to search for the products and think and finalize whether it has got demand and how much it will cost and everything you have to finalize and then produce the product. Once you have done the product creation, you have to think about the website for it to promote that product or services. You have to create a website. The website has to be a well-designed and detailed website and you have to have a, a domain name for the website. That To get the domain name, you can go to GoDaddy or anywhere else, cheaper the better for you if, if you are financially uh, tight and it's better to get the best registrar because you, you don't want to have problems later on with the website. Once you have got the domain name, you can start, the domain name has to represent the product. That when you can start writing the contents. And once you have posted the contents, and you need to store the contents. To store it, you need a hosting company. Hosting company, you can look around, Hostgator or any other hosting company, which is affordable and best one. Uh, otherwise, you don't want to have problems again with the websites uh, when you're trying to uh, open the website. You might not have, might not be able to do that. You, you will have problems. So better to go for the good ones. Once you have done all this, you have to think about now. I have done all this. I have to market this. I have to, peop I have to let people know that I'm having this product. You should have aggressive marketing strategy, short-term marketing, long-term marketing. Short-term marketing, bulletin boards and SEO. Bulletin boards, you can just write a sales copy and leave it everywhere for the people to see. And then the people will come start looking at your website and start visiting your website and start, may start to contact you. Uh, they might become the potential customers. SEO, if you do SEO well, you can reach Google the first page that will bring when the people search for the, for a thing like yours for a product like yours you a product your website will come up and then you they start visiting you you will have plenty of visitors by using good SEO long term marketing opt in page you create an opt in page using lead pages or autoresponder and once you have created an opt-in page, in the opt-in page you have to give detail, good detail about the app, but it has to be short and sharp details about your product or services so that you will not take people a lot, lot of time, people's time. And once you have done the opt-in page, you can put it in the website using the autoresponders help. You can put it in the website and people start to sign up. When they start signing up, you collect the emails. The autoresponder will be responsible to collect the email. You will be building a list. So that email list will be yours. You can use that email list to, to sell the products later on or upsell products when you're selling the original product. You can use this email and you can you have to have constant uh, Connection with the list, the people in the email list, otherwise you will lose them. Once they have subscribed to you, they, they will expect things from you. Uh, otherwise, in the long run, you will not have them, they will leave you. Contest via website. You can create contest and advertise on the website. If you join this, if you take part in this contest, we will be giving prizes for the winners. You can just describe what the prices are. Maybe the 
value of the prices and the people will like it, they get impressed. They want to get the, because they want to have the price. They want to win the contest and people think it's easy to win the contest, I will have that price. Once you have done all that, you start your contest and issue the prices. While you are issuing the prices, you can collect the emails. So building up your email list again. They might become the potential customers to you later on. Now we'll talk about the backlinks. Backlinks are important. Backlinks important for the website because it's the visibility of the website will be better. Ongoing marketing plan, marketing strategy, ongoing marketing plan is long-term marketing, various methods to market, social media promotion. There is lots of social media platforms, you know, I don't need to mention all that, but still. Facebook, Twitter, Google, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Reddit, those are all social media platforms where you can advertise your product or services. And when you are, when you are advertising, you will get so many followers and you, maybe the, the followers become the potential customers. By the way you do the things, they will become the real customers in the long run. So you will be able to sell the products to them. Then other platform is best platform, but you have to spend a little bit money here. Google PPC. This is really good. You get clients, you get customers. Uh, lots of visit. this this advertisement will bring lots of traffic to the website, and you can turn them into customers as you go. Banner advertisements. Create a banner and put in somebody else's website. It's a good website. It has to be a good website. Uh, getting a lot of traffic, yearly traffic, and in in return, they might the, the that website owner might ask you and expect the same help from you. You do the same, and both parties will get linked to each other, and you will have their visitors, and they will have your visitors, and the visitors will increase your website. Forums, do a Google research for your niche. Look for the forums and take part in the discussions and make contributions to the discussions. And at the end, you can say, I also have a product. Look at my product and you can show your website. And that increases the visibility of your website and your product. Then again, in this day and age, you have to create a video channel that people love to watch rather than reading things. The video goes better than the text, and video uh, gets gets the Google page easily than the text messages, websites, and everything. So it's better to create a video, and and if you you have to create a YouTube YouTube channel and a video to promote your product and services. Guest posting, look for the websites, Google it again in the niche guest posting, looks for the website who, 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 the, who, where it has a lot of traffic for a month or a year basis, constant traffic. Get their, approach them and get their permission that you want to uh, write an article about your product or something like that, a guest posting. If they, if they allow you to write, it has to be unique and write the guest post and publish in their website. So their visitors will get a chance to look at your post and they start coming to your website and in the end they start contacting you and it is up to you to turn them, make them into potential customers and later on up to you to turn them into customers. So in that way you can increase your sales and we can popularity of your website also will increase. Sales will increase financially, you'll be better off. Anyway, I have given you enough tips for the, for to produce the product and market it. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you. Bye for now. See you later.